In this video, we're going to discuss the two types of hackers known as Red Team and Blue Team. We'll see the difference between those two, and why you might consider becoming a Red or Blue Team hacker. First let's start with what a Red Team is. Now Red Team may seem like a strange reference for some people. There are different teams out there. There are red teams, blue teams, both of which we're going to be getting into, and other teams things like purple team, black team, and white team. A red team is an individual or individuals that test the network posing as a malicious hacker. A red team's job is to use the same tools and techniques as a malicious hacker to gain network access, obtain critical files, circumvent security measures, etc. So red teams will break into your network using the same techniques and tools as malicious hackers. Again, however, they ultimately are working for the same goal securing your network from mute and users from an actual malicious attack. So that's important to get that across. Because when you bring up red teams to, say, management that don't necessarily know network security. Red team hacking is a valuable service that can help organizations improve their security posture. If you are interested in becoming a red team hacker, there are a few things you should know. First, you will need to have a strong understanding of security principles and how to exploit system vulnerabilities. Second, you must be able to think like an attacker and be creative in your approach. Finally, you must be able to communicate your findings to the organization in a clear and concise manner. To become a successful red team, you must identify your current weaknesses and determine if you need outside help with the exercises. Successful red teams don't happen overnight in order to properly prepare for an actual cyber attack. You need to fix any vulnerabilities you didn't previously notice. This is so that you can prevent hackers from exploiting these vulnerabilities before they even attack your system. Now let's talk about blue team hackers. Now usually the red team and the blue team play against each other. The job of the red team is to attack the network, while the job of the blue team is to help protect the network. Some of the things blue teaming needs to do are security team testing to protect the network. A blue team is a company and will be a team working within an organization. So, you must be familiar with everything on this network. Not only what services are running, what servers are there, what OS are they running, types of security updates, when do they run updates, OS versions and what not all the policies you need to know. You need to know the physics of the building layout. So, protecting critical assets not only means protecting the servers, protecting the users, it also means protecting the information within that protecting the building itself. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean just files on a file server. It could also be critical paperwork, critical paper files. So, anything related to that is going to typically fall under a blue team. At this point the network attacker attempts to attack the network. This is the information we found. These are the steps we are taking to prevent, mitigate and investigate this issue. Therefore, documentation will be very important for blue teams. They also make suggestions. Also, well, we should update our servers by that date. We should get another intrusion detection system and replace the other one we have, etc. So blue teams is more than basic cybersecurity. Likewise, you may protect more than just your network file structure. You protect the building, you protect the users, and you protect the physical assets that impact the network. Likewise, data collection and documentation are important. Red teams are designed to break into your network and blue teams are designed to protect your network. They have different goals, but both are designed to protect your entire network by looking at it from two different angles. Again, the blue team should have a solid understanding of company policy. They should understand the company's goals, have a solid understanding of network topology, be good at documenting and communicating with management. Because after all, the blue team will most likely be talking to some type of manager about what's going on. This was about blue teams and red team. Red teaming consists of trying to execute a cyber attack like a real hacker. The blue team is the other side of the coin, providing a real-time defense against the red team's activities. A red team can be a mix of your employees and outside contractors, while a blue team is usually your own employees. Thank you for watching this video so far, and put in the comment which team you like, the red or blue team. See you soon.